And good morning, everyone. The temperatures outside right now a little cooler than yesterday. We were sitting about 77 to 79 degrees across the area at this time yesterday. Now we're sitting between 72 and 74 degrees. Looks like 72 up in New Road, 73 degrees here in Baton Rouge at this hour as you walk out the door. Highs this afternoon will still be on the hot side, but not in the 90s, only the upper 80s. It, the dew point will still be kind of high, though, so it's still going to feel kind of nasty out there. There. Uh, heat index could shoot up to near 100 again today. Most of you should stay below 100, but there is heat advisory to worry about today for parishes to the east and to the south. Of Baton Rouge, and that's mostly because these areas are still dealing with power outages. So many people in these parishes are still without access to air conditioning. So the heat could get to you a little easier than it would otherwise. Would you usually have access to that air conditioning? So stay safe, keep your body cool, stay hydrated. Uh, future truck radar looking pretty quiet for your morning. I know yesterday morning was kind of a wet one for many of you. That won't be the case this morning. So as you head out on your morning commute, you should be good to go. As for the afternoon hours, we could see a couple showers starting to pop up around lunchtime or 1 o'clock. And then once we get to 2 o'clock and after, I'm expecting a uh, spotty to scattered coverage in showers and thunderstorms across the entire area, not just closer to the coast. And that's mostly because we have a stalled boundary over us right now. That front that came through yesterday giving us some showers, that front's now stalled over us. So it's going to continue to kick up some showers and storms for today. Hurricane Larry is spinning out in the Atlantic. A very, very powerful hurricane here. It has wind sustained right now of 120 miles an hour, and it has a very well-formed eye. The good news is it's not going to impact anyone on land. It's actually going to be staying over the ocean. Right now it's a Category 3 hurricane. It will eventually move uh, northwest in the Atlantic. The Berm uh, Bermuda is actually to the west of this cone, so it won't even make landfall in Bermuda. So uh, even Bermuda doesn't have too much to worry about as far as the direct impact. Uh, it will eventually turn northeast, though, before heading out towards Greenland. So. United States, you're in the clear. We do have a tropical wave, though, in the Gulf of Mexico at this hour, indicated by that little X. That's where the center of low pressure is currently located. It's a pretty disorganized system, but it is going to head northeast in the Gulf of Mexico. It will come pretty close to Louisiana, but it's not expected to develop until it gets into the northeastern Gulf or out into the Atlantic. So it's not much of a concern for us here in Louisiana. You know, maybe once it gets uh, right south of Louisiana, we could see a shower or two kicked into our area from that system, but as far as uh, a direct impacts from a major tropical system, that is not uh, something that you should worry about for this system, and that's great news. Uh, if you want to get out there, maybe go swimming today. Again, the heat index will be pretty high, and you'll get sunburned in about 15 to 25 minutes, so keep that in mind. Put the sunscreen on uh, if you want to go swimming, and of course, the temperatures also are going to be kind of nice for swimming, but the shower and thunderstorm chance will be on the rise again today in the afternoon and evening hours. So remember, if you hear uh, if you hear thunder, go indoors. Do not stay in that pool. As for your seven-day forecast in Baton Rouge, we got a high of 87 degrees for today. Now we do have a chance of some more showers tomorrow, but they're only going to be isolated. I'm expecting a very low chance of rain tomorrow. Uh, temperatures do get a little hotter the, uh, later in the week. We're talking 89 on Thursday, but no 90-degree temperatures in the forecast, and we're actually looking very very dry for the later half of your week and into the weekend. Rain chances could return though once we get into Monday. As for traffic,